Hello, my name is Swayam Kapodkar. I am in Manovika's English Medium School and I am studying in 10th Standard. I am Ananya Naik. I study in 8th Standard. I go to Manovika's English Medium School. The name of our project is Smart Saline. We were participating in WRO and that year's theme was Robots in Healthcare. So, me and Swayam visited my father's hospital and we asked all the nurses what was the most tasking and repetitive task there. And most of them said replacing saline. So, it's an app based saline notification system which would tell when the saline gets empty and it would send a notification to the nurses' mobile app. First, for WRO, we make it with Lego. <laughs> Wait, this can't be real. So I had built it using a Lego kit called the EV3 Mindstorms and then she coded it using uh, the Scratch platform. So this is our product, the Smart Saline. It works on the basis of counterweights. Uh, when the saline is full, this uh, bar is going to be down. But as the saline gets empty, it is, it is going to come up uh, because of this counterweight. And then on this side of the rod, there is this yellow color piece which will be sensed by this color sensor and it will send a notification on the mobile app that the saline is uh, getting empty. This is the Smart Saline app. This is the Smart Saline screen where you can connect with your Smart Saline. This is the saline is getting empty notification. This happens when the saline's weight is less. So what I did was for coding the Lego version, I used MIT App Inventor, which is basically like a website where you can make an app. So the first one we made this product for WRO which is World Robotic Olympiad which was held at national level in Noida last year. For that we won uh, silver place. Our second competition in which we participated was Goa Shed Innovation Council's Young Innovators Award. In this we, we placed first as Goa's Young Innovators. The next competition we participated was Quark which was held by Bits Pilani. Uh, in which we won. The first product we made was with Lego, but Goa Shed Innovation Council helped us to make it a compact product and a more viable product. Selling a Lego product is very difficult because it's very bulky, but we could make a simpler and cheaper version with the help of Goa Shed Innovation Council. Our product can be used in hospitals, old age homes, and for carers with sick people at home. We have tested this on actual patients in an hospital and it has worked completely fine. Uh, Goa State Innovation Council's mentors helped us with many things. One of those things was helping us learn Arduino and the programming language Arduino IDE. Goa State Innovation Council also helped us build this product they taught us how to use Tinkercad, which is a platform where we used to uh, make uh, 3D printing designs and then how we insert it in the 3D printer and so the 3D printer can build it for us. The mentors also taught us how to do soldering uh, of the different chips and other parts. So Goa State Innovation Council helped us secure a pending patent for our creation. First, this product we have made it with Bluetooth. We want to make it uh, using Wi-Fi because as nurses will move around the, uh, around the hospital, the Bluetooth might uh, like break up. And uh, if we use Wi-Fi, it will work for a longer range. So we thank Goa State Innovation Council for helping us and thanks a lot. We thank Goa State Innovation Council for helping us. <laughs>